From now Hollywood icons not feeling as though it'd be possible to catch lightning in a bottle twice, to legendary vampire slayers feeling there's no story left to tell for them anymore. These are the actors who gave a reboot of their TV show a hard pass. Gareth here from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 actors who have turned down TV reboots. Number 10, George Clooney ER. Back before he'd ever donned a pair of bat nipples, the ball of charisma that is George Clooney first made his presence known in an NBC medical drama by the name of ER. And while the Hollywood A-lister would ultimately kiss goodbye to his character of Dr. Doug Ross all the way back in 1999, before making the odd cameo appearance, it's clear his work on the show struck a chord with fans the world over, leading to many understandably trying to will a reboot of the Emergency Room series back into existence over the years. However, the last time Clooney sat down and reunited with his one-time castmate in 2021 for a charity chat, the Academy Award winner confessed that he didn't think a reboot of the show was possible, largely due to it now being difficult to produce another series at the level the team once did. Simply put, the superstar actor just felt it would be hard to capture lightning in a bottle twice, with co-star Juliana Magulis also admitting that it was probably wise to leave what was so beautiful and move on. So despite the late Michael Crichton's wife admitting that she loved the idea of a revival of the show creator's passion project, it looks as though this cast's days of running around a hospital on the small screen are over. Number 9, Zachary Quinto, Heroes Reborn. Alongside his brilliant iteration of everyone's favorite USS Enterprise officer Spock in the rebooted Star Trek film series, Zachary Quinto is probably best known for his compelling work as the superpower-stealing figure known as Sylar in Heroes. Yeah, when it became clear that the folks behind the NBC hit show were gearing up to bring the series back into existence after five years away, a conversation with show creator Tim Kring soon brought with it the realization that Quinto was very very much happy to leave Sylar in the rear view mirror. Though he'd go out of his way to explain how he loved the job and people he worked with during his meaningful experience whilst occupying the hero sphere, the star just didn't want to go back, and confessed to wanting to cultivate other outlets for himself. As it goes, Quinto was probably wise to give this heroic reunion a miss in the end, with Heroes Reborn eventually underwhelming and not earning itself a second season. Number 8, Michael Onski in Twin Peaks. A lot can change in 25 years, and while that time did bring with it a cult following for the surreal world of Twin Peaks, it also left the series without its sheriff when the time came to unleash a long-awaited revival in 2017. That's because during that long period between the show's cancellation after its second season back in 1991, none other than Sheriff Harry S. Truman himself, Michael Onskian, only went and decided he'd had enough with the balmy world of acting. So when David Lynch and Mark Frost were finally all set to bring their mysterious property back to the small screen midway through the 2010s, the team behind the show were forced to change direction a touch when it came to the role of town sheriff in season 3. Oddly enough, the actor tasked with stepping into those law enforcement shoes was actually once being eyed up for the role of Harry in the lead up to its initial ABC run, with Robert Forster not being able to accept the role due to being attached to another pilot at the time. Everything worked out in the end though, as the late actor ultimately arrived in Twin Peaks as Sheriff Frank Truman, Harry's brother. Number 7, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, Fuller House. In the wake of bursting onto the scene at a young age as part of ABC's eventual hit Full House sitcom, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen soon became all-round superstars, making their film debut shortly after the series came to an end, and ultimately going on to become fashion icons and successful businesswomen. But with the stars turning their attention largely away from the acting industry over the last few decades, it didn't come as that much of a surprise to hear of the Olsen twins passing up on the chance to return to the net Netflix revival of the show that catapulted them to superstardom. After not appearing in front of a camera since she was 17 at the time of Fuller House going into production, Ashley would reportedly admit that she didn't feel comfortable acting anymore, whilst Mary Kate was seemingly slightly interested in a Michelle comeback at first, though would eventually also join her sister in turning down the return, saying the timing just wasn't right for them. With the Olsons committing much of their time at that point to the designing of the Roe and Elizabeth and James lines, it's not hard to see why a fuller house appearance would have been hard to squeeze in, but their absence as Michelle Tanner still couldn't stop the sequel series lasting five whole seasons before its conclusion in June 2020. Number 6, Cole and Dylan Sprouse, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Speaking of child stars who seemingly won't be appearing in a reboot of the family TV show that made them famous, Cole's 
Sprouse has gone on record on a number of occasions to shoot down the concept of himself and brother Dylan ever resuming their sweet life in the coming years. Noting on the Drew Barrymore show that reboots are a tricky thing, the Riverdale star confessed that he regularly finds himself being asked by fans whether the twins will be up for reuniting for a revival of the hit Disney show, only to reply with a swift, no, absolutely not. The Cody Martin actor would also explain during a The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon appearance that there's a ton of potential to demolish that perfect little golden memory of a programmer, if all involved opted to revisit it down the line. And brother Dylan has also confidently stated the duo won't be returning to the show again too, so don't expect to see the Martin boys check back into the Tipton Hotel anytime soon. Number 5, Kim Cattrall and Just Like That After six seasons and two movies of bringing the trisexual force of nature that is Samantha Jones to life for fans' entertainment, you can't exactly blame Kim Cattrall for wanting to retire from her most famous role to pursue other compelling parts. But the Golden Globe winning star's decision to turn down a third Sex in the City film and Cattrall making it clear that her Samantha days were done from there on out still couldn't stop the rest of the original cast from reuniting for a sequel series down the road. In fact, Cattrall has been so vocal about not wanting to add anything else to her legacy as Jones that she wasn't even asked to be a part of and just like that, with the actor revealing to Variety that she only heard about the series via social media. And for those still hoping to see the return of Cattrall's outspoken Sex in the City figure one day, with Jones still being referenced in and just like that, that's a no was her position on the matter as of 2022. Number 4, Steve Carell, The Office USA While he has since gone on to enjoy quite the glittering dramatic career on the big screen, it's still hard to look past Steve Carell's side-splitting work as the largely incompetent Dunder Mifflin boss Michael Scott as the role he'll forever be best known for. And with the series finding another life as one of the most rewatched sitcoms ever to grace a streaming service in the wake of its finale in 2013, it was only natural to assume that a revival of sorts would be at least discussed as time went by. However, in Carell's mind, Mind, the show just wouldn't be able to be the same thing it was back when they were creating it all those years ago, with the Academy Award nominated thespian admitting that he has absolutely no desire to play Scott again. Again, it's not as though Carell didn't absolutely adore his time working on the hit that was adapted from the original British series, even going as far as to class it as a special thing before people thought it was a special thing. But Carell just doesn't think the odds are in their favour when it comes to recapturing the magic of that glorious initial run. That's what he said. Number 3, Jeanette McCurdy, iCarly By the time Paramount Plus decided to give a generation of iCarly fanatics the return they'd been waiting for in 2021, Jeanette McCurdy was very much over all things Sam Puckett. The star, who would also reprise the role on Sam and Cat, actually confessed to quitting acting altogether a few years before news of the iCarly revival broke, stating on her MT Inside podcast that she wanted to try her hand at writing and directing. On top of this, McCurdy would also confess that when it came to acting in general, she initially didn't want to do it, with the child star's mother throwing her into the business at age 6. And by the time she was 10 or 11, the young actor was the main financial support for her family. So you can only imagine the sheer amount of pressure that must have brought about for someone just entering their teens. McCurdy would even go as far as to admit that she was ashamed of the part she did in the past, claiming she was already embarrassed about her role in the Nickelodeon show at the age of 15. All this ultimately led to the actor telling her co-star Miranda Cosgrove that she wouldn't be doing the reboot as McCurdy felt her mental health and happiness were more important than the money she could have made from a comeback. Number 2, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Despite officially reaching its conclusion, checks notes, a whopping 20 years ago, the appetite for another set of adventures centred around Sarah Michelle Gellar's Buffy Summers is still as strong as ever. Unfortunately for those angling to see the titular Vampire Slayer dive back into the much-loved supernatural world, with her fellow Scooby Gang members though, Gellar has confessed to having zero interest in battling evil forces in a revival of the hit series. Gella is incredibly proud of the work she helped create the first time around, and just feels that a reboot doesn't need to be done. That's not to say that the Scream 2 and Scooby-Doo star would be against the series continuing the tale without her, however. In fact, the every girl who has the power can have the power message sent out as the show drew to a close means that it's set up perfectly for someone else to have the power, as far as Gella is concerned. While this most certainly acts as the definitive nail in Buffy Summer's coffin, perhaps Gella his blessing will finally lead to the series actually being brought back from the dead with a new slayer after being put on pause last August. Number 1, David Hyde Pierce, Frasier 
delighting Frasier fanatics the world over back in 2021, when it was officially confirmed that Kelsey Grammer would be back for a revival of the long-running sitcom Smash on Paramount+, Plus, said news actually turned out to be rather bittersweet, upon eventually learning about another star who wouldn't be along for the rebooted ride. According to the Dr. Frasier Crane actor himself, Grammer's co-star David Hyde Pierce won't be joining him when the sequel series does finally land on the streaming service. Simply put, Hyde Pierce just wasn't all that interested in repeating the work he'd already done as Fraser's younger brother Niles on the series. But far from completely derailing the project altogether, his eventual lack of involvement was said to have resulted in the series being taken to a new place, according to the clearly excited leading man. And for those wondering whether the show will just completely no-sell the absence of Niles or any other characters not set for a return, Grammar was also quick to note that we'll certainly be responsive about the fact there was a brother and such. At a glance though, this is very much shaping up to be a new world for Frasier, and one that has already reduced Grammar to tears upon a first read-through of the script. We're not ready folks, we're just not. And that's our list of any other actors who have turned down TV reboots. Let us know all about them in the comments section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're at it. Also, if you like this kind of thing, then head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you're watching right this second is based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you as always for watching this lovely video today. Hopefully, I'll see your faces very, very soon, but in the meantime, just be good to yourself. Bye-bye.